What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome back to Assassin's Creed Rebellion. Now in today's video, it is an early morning down here in Austin, Texas, and that can only mean one thing. FG is already four hours behind on the latest event. So let's go ahead and get it on. Stealthy Operations. This is just a mini event. As you guys can see, it only lasts three days. So we're going to go ahead and jump into this one. Um, but before that, we do have a preview of the next event starring, of course, Cassandra and Alexia. So that's something to look forward to as well um, but let's go ahead and get started with this one so progression milestone rewards are pretty poor for me um, we have maximo here who i do not need at all um, we have my main man luis once again who i do not need at all i mean i'll take them i'll con i'll convert their dna but not really we have rosa who i do need so we'll take her um, she is a stealth character which is i, I have a lot of really good stealth characters so I'll take it, but I really don't need her either. Um, gold, medicine, books, Luis. Yeah, the top reward here is going to be Rosa. So not a fantastic event for me, at least. But if you're new, hey, these might be some characters that you want to get a hold on, especially Luis, who is one of my favorite characters in the game. And here are the season rewards, ladies and gentlemen. So... Xiao Zhen, legendary shadow stealth assassin here. Um, I'm pretty close to two stars, so maybe I can pull something off and get three stars out of this. That would be fantastic. Um, but this is the only thing I'm really shooting for in this event. And of course, free equipment, which I'll always take. What what tier do I need to be a, get, to get at least these greaves right here? So tier six, that'll be easy. Um, I love to get free equipment. So that is that. The person here at number one only has 45,000 milestone points. So let's see if we can meet him at the top. Here's my squad, 150. I'm going to, oh my God, my flora, my flora. <laughs> that is no bueno, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, well, that is that. So let's talk about the game itself because we do finally have an announcement, an announcement of an announcement, ladies and gentlemen, um, on the Facebook page. And what I'll do, I'll go ahead and put a screenshot of the conversation that took place on Facebook. But basically the official Assassin's Creed Rebellion of Facebook has basically come out and said that their next update is on the way That's going to bring improvements to the game as well as new content That is very much needed um, ever since this game's launch. It's been pretty much the same exact game um, So I'm I, I was very scared because sometimes companies and I'm, I'm not gonna use Ubisoft as an example because I can't think of a Ubisoft example But I can think of a WB Warner Brothers example sometimes they throw out games and they just, they make them look like they're like a game as a service, but really their intention is just to put that game out, get as much money as they possibly can, and never update it. Like the Middle Earth game that's currently out, that people are still spending money on, has not been updated in like over a year. Like after the PC games came out, this game came out alongside as kind of like a companion game. And then once all that initial hype came off, they just stopped updating, updating it, and they just quit. So I was like, are they gonna pull like a, a Middle Earth on this game? That's really gonna suck. Man, this is terrible. <laughs> oh my goodness. I did I, I should have known Flora was going to be a character that I was gonna need in this, but that is that. So hoping that a bunch of content is going to come very, very soon. Um, so we have an announcement of an announcement, ladies and gentlemen. We are finally getting closer to getting some, maybe some good stuff going on in this game. Um, man, this is gonna suck. But you know what? It's for the YouTube, baby. We, we can't stop here. At least level 21, right? At least level 21. That's where you can actually start using some pretty good gear. It's going to cost me 137 to skip that. But you know what? For the YouTube. <laughs> and I should have a little bit of equipment that I can throw on her. So where is she? Flora, Flora, Flora. She's probably a little bit lower than that. Here she is. Uh, what do I have just lying around? Um, what kind of character is she again? She is a stealth. Uh, okay, got it, got it. So we'll give her a fine robe. Quality planning here, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Uh, she can just use a studded belt, random, and she uses pole arms, which I always appreciate characters that use pole arms. Look at this, I got a three star pole arm with stealth on it. So that gives her 853 power. That should give me enough to kind of get through this video, maybe. Um, events. Okay, here we go. Back into the fray, ladies and gentlemen. So I'm hoping for, of course, opening up the new chapter, which is going to be, that's kind of expected. We know that the new chapter, the story chapter, is going to be added into the game. But I'm just hoping for just a whole host of quality of life 
uh, enhancements to the UI, to loading times. Like, I, I would like to see more animations in the characters. Like, there has to be something more than just throwing some coins on the ground. So that 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 might be a little wish listy. <laughs> it doesn't really have a big impact on the game, but that's something that I want to see. You know, a lot of this game is just kind of watching your characters in action. So giving them a little bit extra flair, in my opinion, is always appreciated. Um, in addition to that, so quality of life stuff, UI stuff, loading time stuff, and then more things to do in the game. Um, maybe, who knows? Um, I know a lot of people have been asking for some interaction with other players in some way other than just competing um, with uh, the events. So I, I don't know. I'm, I'm very, very cautious about adding more stuff to the game and adding more interactions with other players because I like the amount of time I spend in this game every day. <laughs> like, I don't, you know, and this is, this is very selfish. I totally get it. But I, I don't want this to be a game that I have to play all day long. So I'm very, I'm very cautious about putting something in like PvP or something like that. Um, because I don't, I don't want to play it all day to climb ladders and things of that nature. And I know you could always say, well, you don't have to. But I got to because I'm not a filthy casual, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to go to the top. So if they add something in the game where you have to kind of play all day. Ugh, that's going to suck. Um, but who knows? We'll we'll see. They, they they did a really good job on the foundation of the game, so I'm gonna give them I'm gonna give them the 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 clearance to try to flex their muscle again with something new and unique to be added to the game. Now I have never played um, Fallout Shelter or Hustle Castle, which I know are kind of the same games in a sense. Um, so I don't know what they do for like higher tier gameplay or anything like that, but. That would be interesting. I would also like to see them uh, allow me to make more medicine at once. Like, why Why do I have to make a predetermined amount of medicine and a predetermined amount of books? I should be able to say, you know what? You guys stay in here for like 20 hours and then just make as many books as you possibly can at 20 hours and things like that. I want to see more things that make this game a little bit more streamlined and a little bit more fun to play. Um, but yeah, that is that. Some new backgrounds would be nice as well, too. And uh, since we know Ubisoft, you know there's probably a, n a new Assassin's Creed on the way. Um, Far Cry New Dawn just came out, so I'm pretty sure we're going to see another Ubisoft, um, a Ubisoft, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, annual release um, with another Assassin's Creed, which just means they're going to add even more characters from the Assassin's Creed universe into this game. So that's one good thing about the fact that they like to annualize their releases. That means that there there's always new characters and potential to be added into this game. So that's kind of cool. But we'll see. Um, but so far, as far as this event is concerned, a very easy floor actually looks pretty cool. So not, not, not a big loss there. You definitely do not want to do what I do when it comes to speeding up. I mean, yeah, you don't want to do it. <laughs> you, you just don't. Unless you're just in a really, really bad situation where you're about to overcap some event stamina and you're trying to go for one of the top ranks, then maybe you do it. Um, but for, for most of the time, you don't want to do it. You do not want to do what FG does. All right. I'm actually pretty good on points here. This might be one of those events where I do need to go all out and shoot for the top for Shale Jun um, because I've already built up quite a bit of points already. Let's see where we are. Yeah, this might be one that we need to take seriously. And I might be able to use these DNAs to get me um, a Machiavelli. 870 so that's kind of I think that's where we're gonna stop for now because that's gonna uh, outpower my flora again and I don't want to do another <laughs> I don't want to spend another bunch of helix for no reason um, so what we're gonna do we're gonna pause this video for now we're gonna come back a little bit later I'm gonna try to get my flora up a little bit higher ranking wise I am already at 20,000 points and I haven't even completed this run um, so we might have to shoot for might have to shoot for the top ranks on this one um, Let's go over here. I think I'm pretty close to having another star on my flora as well, which is something. No, I'm not that close. Did I already do my sweeps for the day for her nodes? Ah, uh, not really. Not really. Two greens. I need more green units. Like my green units, I, I constantly out of them. And there are so many of these little stages that take two and I only have two. All I have is Angela and Claudia. That's it. So it makes it really hard to see. And this is something that I definitely want to see. Being able to heal multiple units at once. If they at least do that, I'll be a happy camper. Like, they got to do this. Like, this whole one at a time, heal a unit, wait, go back, scroll over, heal another unit, wait. Like, this has to go. Don't be trying to anthem my, my assassin. Well, this game came first. 
So uh, actually, Anthem copied Assassin's Creed Rebellion when it comes to just obnoxious loading. <laughs> so there you go. All right, so that will do it in this video, though, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I'm going to continue to kind of work on my flora, get her a little bit more powerful so I can continue through there. But I'm going to shoot for the top, see if I can't get our, get myself a three-star shale jun along with some free equipment. That would be very, very nice. And I'll, of course, will keep you guys updated as far as new content being added to the game. Um, as soon as we hear anything else from that Facebook, as soon as we get, you know, so right now, like I said, we're in the, the announcement of the announcement. But once we actually have an announcement, a date, some content, some patch notes, something. And I hope it's not just something just super small. I'll be so disappointed. Like if it's just like barely anything in the update, I don't know, man. We might, we, <laughs> Assassin's Creed might, they, they might get cut. It, the game might get cut from the rotation depending on how this update goes. And that's just unfortunately the way it is. All right. And last but not least, convert this. Not enough to get my Machiavelli. That's who I was kind of saving for. Uh, how many do I have? 1860. So I might have enough by the time this whole uh, milestone run is done. So there you have it. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, boys and girls, once again, my name is FG3000. Thanks again so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the, the next video. Where is this? Where is this woman at? Where is she at? Oh, there she is. <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm probably going to go level 30. Let's see. Give you give some of these big books here. This is probably going to take forever. So I have seven hours for my next. I want to get her at least to a thousand for right now. Oh, uh, look at look at how many hours this is. Hold on. Let's let's think about this a little bit more intelligently. <laughs> because we don't need that much power for the next node. And if we can clear it out. Let's see. Yes, this is smart. So in six hours and 45 minutes, that'll be done. Just enough time for me to not overcap my stamina. Pro move, FG. Outstanding move. So there you go. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, my name is FG, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Later.